Hello friends, welcome to Garden of the Creekside. Today I am going to be taking care of a very problematic weed. It is an invasive weed, brand new to me, brand new I think relatively to this area. What I'm talking about is daughter. Daughter is a parasitic weed that attaches to a host plant and has to have that host plant in order to survive and have life because it really, just like any kind of parasite, it will attach itself to that, suck the nutrients out of it, and therefore that is how it grows and thrives and lives. Um, I did not know of daughter. I had never heard of daughter before until a couple of weeks ago. We were up in this area doing um, a video and one of you sweet viewers were like, Jenny, you have daughter. Are you not like freaking out? And I was like, daughter, what in the world are you talking about? Uh, as soon as I googled it, I was like, yes, that is exactly what I have. And it is very um, scary in a way as far as in your garden. You do not want it in your garden um, because it is parasitic. It is extremely hard to get rid of. It produces tons of seeds and the seeds can last for up to 20 years. So we are going to do step one of tackling the daughter. It is in this flower bed right here. I have my trash can, I have my pre-emergent, I have my rubber gloves, I have everything that I need to take care of this. Now, before we go any further, I will have um, graphics at the end explaining exactly what daughter is, some host plants, um, just tips for you. So that way you can take screenshots of those graphics at the end just take a screenshot and put it in a file on your phone or your iPad in your photos. That way, if you ever um, are encountered with daughter or you know somebody that has daughter, then hopefully you can use these as a resource. Um, again, North Carolina, never heard of it, never had it. Um, it probably came in, not probably, it did. It came in on some seeds that I had bought. I know I had it last year. Now looking back, I had it with beets. Maybe I had it the year before, I don't know. The good thing is it's only contained to this bed. Um, so we are going to um, have just no holds bar. We're gonna go after it. I'm gonna go up there. Let me show you what we're talking about and explain how we are going to handle this very problematic invasive weed here at Creekside. In this garden box, I have carrots planted. And down on this end, now there are some weeds in there, um, but the carrots are doing great. When you come over here and you see these um, yellow vines, that is daughter. And if you will look, there are no leaves on the daughter. Because as you can see, what it is doing is it is attaching itself to the carrot and it will um, take all the nutrients out of that and therefore grow. So you can see that it is spreading in the other direction. Um, so we are, step one today is we are going to harvest all of these carrots and we're gonna get them out of here and eliminate and get rid of all of this foliage. So what the plan of attack is for the daughter today and long term. One, I have got a big trash can lined with a trash bag and I have um, just kitchen gloves, right? You wash dishes in. I will throw those away when I am done with this. The only tool that I am using today is my Hori Hori and I will um, wash it, disinfect it, make sure that there is no cross contamination from me working in this bed and then going to another bed. Um, so we're going to harvest, get rid of all the foliage. We are going to bag it and we are going to tie it up and we are going to put it in the dumpster. Um, I know when I talked about this a couple, like last week, some of you had some ideas. Uh, I am going to say this as lovingly and as kindly and as gently as I possibly can. Uh, we have been talking with folks who have dealt with daughter, who have battled daughter, professional horticulturists who know this weed, and we are following their recommendations. So that being said, um, unless you have dealt with daughter, you have professional experience with daughter, I respectfully ask that you just kind of keep your opinions to yourself on this one because we're gonna follow what the professionals say that have done this. By bagging it and putting it in the landscape, it is not gonna escape. It is not gonna go out into nature. Some folks had said about burning it, which is a good idea, but I would be more concerned about 
possibly seeds escaping that and not getting burned and then getting blown into the air and then they end up more widespread. When we bag it, put it in the landfill, those, that landfill is covered every day with more trash and more soil. So it is not gonna escape. That is a safe way to do it. Um, Pretty soon, I don't know, this is gonna depend on Jerry's timeline, but today, well, back up. So today what we're gonna do is after we get that out, we are going to use um, a high quality pre-emergent and we are going to treat this bed. That's just kind of an extra step. I don't think since there's not gonna be a host plant that the daughter would germinate and thrive because there's nothing for it to live on. But not only are we gonna treat this bed, we're going to treat all of the gravel around it. And then um, as you can see right here, it is close to this bed. So we are going to put down some pre-emergent there as well, just as a precautionary tail, because that will help it. Now, I know that some of you have strong opinions on pre-emergence. That's fine, great, appreciate it. You use your, do your garden, I'm doing my garden. I cannot have this weed going out throughout the garden. So we're going to prevent that and um, use the pre-emergent on the gravel and the bed and right here, just to make sure that it does not spread. Long term, we are going to completely take this whole bed apart. We're gonna bag the soil, put it in the dumpster, get rid of it. Um, we will take apart the wood. We will again dispose of the wood and the irrigation line, we will dispose of that. So we are going to completely eliminate this box and rebuild it. Um, we just have to make sure that the daughter seed is not in here. So that is our long-term plan. Now exactly when we get that done, um, that's up for debate. It kind of stinks because I can't, I lose some garden space, but it is what it is and we're just gonna go with it. So. Right now, um, we are expecting some storms in like an hour. So I am going to just get on this as fast as I can. I'm going to put my carrots. I have um, my little tubs back here. Snap the carrots off. I'm gonna keep the big ones, put them in there. And then all the foliage, every single piece of foliage is gonna go in this trash can. So that's what we're gonna do, hopefully before the rain starts. my friends so I've got all the foliage is out it's bagged all of the carrots are out um, I did not I wasn't able to save every single carrot obviously because of time and <laughs> the nature of what we're doing here today but I did get a, a nice little harvest of course it really stinks that I have to um, <sighs> deal with this but you know what that's gardening and I you know I easily could have just not done this video and not talked about daughter and pretended that it never happened and not show you but that does a real disservice to the gardening community because if we're knowledge is power right and we want to know what's out there because if we see it we can take care of it immediately if you suspect that you have daughter i would highly encourage you to reach out to your local um, extension office they are a wonderful free resource that you can deal with they will help you um, they will tell you everything you need to know and that's just a great resource in general with gardening but especially when you have something problematic like this reach out to your extension agent every state has one i think every county has one in the country um, so just reach out to them and then of course um 
even like your ag schools. Every state has at least one university that is dedicated to agriculture, so you can reach out to them, do your research. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go put the carrots in the house because I will wash them and clean them um, and get them properly stored so that we can eat them. I'm gonna take uh, the bag, the whole, the whole thing of foliage, throw it in the Kubota, seal it up really good. We have a dumpster here for the nursery. I will put that in there. Um, everything that is, has been used, I threw my gloves away. The hori hori will be washed. The tubs will be washed. The trash can will be washed. Everything's gonna be washed um, and sanitized. And then I'm gonna go grab um, a little bucket and we're gonna put out the pre-emergent. We'll talk about that in a minute. It's starting to sprinkle. It's been sprinkling off and on, but we're expected to get like some big rain today this afternoon in just a little bit, which is actually a perfect time to put out pre-emergent because it needs to be watered in. So I'm gonna go clean and put this where it's supposed to be and then I'll be back and we'll talk about the, the pre-emergent that I'm using. Okay, so what I have is a pre-emergent. And what a pre-emergent is, is it simply keeps seeds from germinating. Um, it does not kill existing weeds. It, um, depending on which kind you get, you can use it in um, existing, with existing plants. Uh, so as long as they are established. So you can just check out if you choose to use a pre-emergent to control weeds, then you would just need to read the manufacturer's um, listed information and use it as it says. Um, so this is one that we got through our nursery supplier. Like he, that's who we get things that we sell at the nursery. Um, but preen is a good option. That's a widely available um, pre-emergent that you can use. Um, is this my preferred method? Um, no, this is not. I really wish I wasn't doing this, but here we are. Um, and again, this right here is just really probably um, not necessary because there's not a host plant. But again, I'm not taking any chances. So we're just gonna go ahead and treat the bed. Yes, all of this is gonna get removed, but in the meantime, this is what we're doing. And then I will treat um, with this pre-emergent all the surrounding gravel, like I said before, the rocks up there in case some of it went that direction, and then the bed, the front side of the bed right here. I don't think it has gone to seed anywhere else because nowhere else is it visible. Like I would see it in my Cleome and my petunias and all that other stuff. So that's the positive thing. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna get this spread out and then we'll be done for this project for today. So this not so pleasant task is done for today. Um, we will let the rains come in and get all this pre-emergent soaked down in there. Um, again, I don't know when exactly we will get this bed taken out. Um, I, it'll all honestly just depend on Jerry and um, because I'm definitely gonna need his help for this because this is um, quite the undertaking. So this will be a team effort. So whenever we're able to get to it, we will be able to do that. Um, but you know what, here we are. This is life throws punches at us all the time. You deal with it, you do the best you can. Um, come here, Brenna. Um, you just do the best you can and you just move on with life. Uh, so we'll keep you updated on this. But again, stay tuned for all those graphics so that way you can um, know what daughter is and how to deal with it. As always, thanks so much for guarding Creekside. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you next video. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.